Today's topic is microscopic. Let's talk about it. Good mythical morning. Rhett, you're a big guy. Yeah. But I want you to know that there is a whole other world at the opposite end of the big guy spectrum, and that is the microscopic world. Yeah, the little world. I don't care about the, it, man. Oh, well, you are I'll today. Stay in a big, big place. If you've ever seen <laughs> in a big place, if you've ever seen images from a scanning electron microscope, you yes. know that things get freaky when you look at them really up close yes. using that technology. I've seen. But these can pictures. you identify what the real thing is? Yeah. Given only that. Probably. <laughs> well, let's find out. We've got some itsy bitsy teeny. Weeny microscopic picturinis, and I'm gonna show them to you today. Picturinis? Yeah, and if you get six out of eight of these correct, uh, there is multiple choices, so it's not just blind guessing, which you'd be doing otherwise. Yes. Um, I will be looking at. This, you though. get to escape the punishment of having to wear a microscopic outfit in our Retinlink Instagram, and I'll have to wear it. You'll have to wear it if I win. If, if you I get, lose, if you get I at least six. Okay. Okay, um, check this out. Here's the first image. Ew. That, it's kind of scary, huh? Mm, oh, gosh. Uh, now, is that true true color, true to life color, or is Shining this? Shining through. No, uh, this is um, some, some artistic liberties that okay, were taken so it's by not the scanning electron microscope people. Green and purple, or not blue and purple. Not necessarily, no. Okay. Cause, uh, it's an aid to help you, or not. I thought it was a purple blanket. It was the first thing I thought. Purple that, blanket on my legs. <laughs> that's not. That's not it. But so, now that I understand. let me give you your choices because that's wrong. <laughs> okay. Is it hair with hair gel on it? Use dental floss or Keebler Elf dingleberries. Ah, oh, wow, the they're, old dingleberries. They're deceptively small. Uh, that doesn't look like a Keebler Elf butthole, so I don't think that those are dingleberries. I also think C is probably a joke every time, so I'm just going to choose between A and B. Don't uh, count on it. Hair with hair gel. Man, I don't know, hair gel can get nasty, I guess. Dental floss, I, it feels like that looks more like a hair close up because hairs are, um, they're more uniform. I need your answer. And like, uh, need it's, your it's not answer. like rope or string. I'm gonna go with A, hair with hair gel. No, mm. Rhett. It is really? used dental floss. It looks so uniform, like. <laughs> I know. Like a fishing line or something. It's the stuff that's on it that's kind of disturbing to they me. They recently said you don't have to floss. Not off to a good start. What about this one? This is not a satellite image of Tatooine. Is it a cheese it A fortune cookie? Or a patch of your psoriasis? My psoriasis cleared up, thank you. <laughs> I know, I, I was taking photos of it beforehand. I just, just so you could take to the doctor. I put a lot of moisturizer on it. it just clears right up. Um. Well, it's definitely a, a, a crispy food item. <laughs> cheese it a fortune cookie. Uh, I mean, if, wow, I don't know. Uh, cheese its have more um, craters and crag craggly spots than fortune cookies do. So I'm going with cheese it. I also love them. Please send me some cheese it. <laughs> no, this is a fortune cookie. I, I thought you might get all these right, but you haven't. <laughs> oh, gosh. I have to get every one right from here on out? And I'm sorry, I, I forgot to write the fortune here, which means that fortune was wrong. Oh, that was a placeholder. <laughs> no, yeah. it's just, most fortune cookies have true fortunes, but that one did not. Okay. Come on, you can still do this, man. It's gotta uh, be a clean sweep the rest of the way. Oh, Are you wearing gonna, a microscopic it's outfit? It's not gonna happen. Check this out. Oh, gosh. Is this a coffee bean, a sugar granule? Or a J the Chinchilla's poop nugget. <laughs> Chase's pet chinchilla. Oh, I get it. AJ's his name. <laughs> a coffee bean, a sugar granule, or a J the Chinchilla's poop nugget. Um, it's not poop. Uh, golly, I mean, it's I hard to get a picture of those because Chase just gobbles them up right when. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've AJ seen him. Do, I've seen him do that, like <laughs> right, like Chase? cocoa pebbles. Don't eat the poop nuggets. It, they look so good. It yeah. looks like cocoa puffs. Uh, God, I mean, I just feel like at this point it's just a complete shot in the dark because the first two I felt good about. Um, You're gonna have to pull a linkster move and go against your intuition. I mean, a okay, but a coffee bean is smooth, man. The sugar granule looks like you would have that kind of stuff on it, but a sugar granule is crystal. 
So I think that you a would scanning see a, electron a, microscope. You would see a crystal thing. So it's I'm very gonna, coffee it's, bean. It's very magnified. Coffee bean. Yes, you're yeah. correct. All right. Sweep is alive. Sweep is alive. You've gotten one out of three. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Check this thing out. Don't be too scared. That is a that's a hawk. It's a hawk's talon. I don't even need the choices. Is it a gecko toe? Or a spider palp? which is the proper name for a spider penis. Oh, really? Or is it Kermit the Frog's palp? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've seen Kermit walking. He, he doesn't have a palp. <laughs> <laughs> you seen him walking? Yeah. Don't do that. Miss Piggy, it... Miss Piggy would be talking about that thing all the time <laughs> if he had one. <laughs> She'd be insulting him every four seconds. I thought this was like a demented cactus grown out of a mop, but mm. that's what it technically looks like. I'm gonna go with, because I don't believe a spider woman would be willing to put up with that, I'm gonna go with gecko toe. Yes, you're right! What, uh, what was the little moppy part though? Um, was he stepping on something? I don't know, man. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't make it, I just take a picture of it. And I didn't even take these pictures. I don't have a scanning electron <laughs> microscope. Of course you don't. Check out this one. Uh, <laughs> is this a cut beard hair? A sliced spaghetti noodle? Or one of Kylie Jenner's old lips. Oh, she just she discards them and uh. yeah, she just be like, she should eBay those. I don't know, people pay good money for that. There's another one under there. Oh, it's a, it, re, it regenerates like a starfish. One, no, it sheds like a snake, snake. skin. Okay. Did you know her? How do you get this information? She's great friends <laughs> she, with, <laughs> with with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm almost positive right. this is a, <laughs> I'm almost positive this is a cut beard hair because I feel like I've seen the uh, the uh, the exterior of a hair before and it had scales on it. But hairs are usually circular. <laughs> They're not like, they don't look like a squished Alabama. It looks like a squished soggy TP roll. Cut beard hair. The streak is alive! Hey! All right. I think you should bring that look back. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do that. Take a look at this one. Is this a cat tongue, a pencil eraser, or a tickle party? <laughs> My kids react differently than that. I've never felt so rejected in my life, but that's cool. You don't like the tickle party? Why would party? you think that was a tickle party or did you just want to do a tickle party? It looks like a tickle party. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> Wow. Lay on that now and I know don't how, laugh. Now I know how your brain works. Actually, I still don't. But, um, so it looks like multiple tongues. So it seems like the kind of thing. So if, if, a, if a cat tongue consists of other tongues that consist of other tongues, if, if it's like a tongue inception inside of a cat's mouth, that would be strange, wouldn't it? Um, uh, or do a, does a pencil eraser surface look like multiple tongues? There's no way. This that looks, would, that this would looks, pull a lot of lead out of a uh, This paper. looks biological. It doesn't look like a rubber thing. I'm gonna go with cat tongue A. Tongue on tongue on tongue on tongue on tongue. I'm sorry, Rhett, it's a tickle party. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat tongue. It's a cat tongue. <laughs> yeah, it is. Tongues on tongues. Woo! Which is a tickle party. Come on, work with me. Hey. Well, at least, at I don't want to work with you anymore. <laughs> at least tickle me. Just uh, tickle me. Uh, yeah. no, don't, don't. I'm going, I go for the thigh tickle. Look at this I one. wasn't tickling anything else. Look at this. Hmm. Is it a moose antler, a Brussels sprout, or a mummified Egyptian cat palp? <laughs> Back to the palps again, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's very brittle because it's mummified and Egyptian. It does look like a Brussels sprout, but that's why I don't think it is a Brussels sprout. Uh, I see the porous innards of a bone structure. Mm -hmm. I'm going with which is why I wrote moose antler. Moose antler, but because I knew you would think that. Yeah, so I'm going to go with moose antler. You sure? Yeah, I'm so sure. I've never been more sure about anything in my life. Well, that should tell you something because this is a Brussels. No! Dang! <laughs> and look at how much fun he's having. I've never Ken? had that much fun with a Brussels sprout. Yeah. Man. Well, because Brussels sprouts are much smaller to us. It's like he's in a it's like he's in a bed load of cabbage. We've done that before. Yeah, we have. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. I made boobies out of them. <laughs>
And finally, <laughs> Rhett, you have no chance of getting out of Instagramming yourself in a miniature outfit, but just for uh, the fun of it and education, is this toilet paper, tidy whities or Madonna's skin? <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, I'm a big fan of toilet paper. Um, I called them whitey tidies. Isn't that what we called them? Whitey we did. tidies? We were wrong. <laughs> toilet paper, it doesn't even matter anymore. I mean, I've had, I got a couple of tattered pairs of whitey tidies that I'm still holding on to. Looks kind of like that. What is it? Holes all in it. Quite a breeze. <laughs> but I'm going to go with toilet paper. You are correct. You see that two plot? Good gracious. I don't know what's been eating that toilet paper. <laughs> there's, a, there's an animal in there. That's crazy, man. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing and getting a close up look at the world. See it differently. You know what time it is. I am Mariah. And I'm Whitney. And it's, and it's time, time to, to spin, spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Want to know what a good mythical beanie looks like under a microscope? Only one way to find out. Get yourself one or two and get yourself a microscope. We don't yeah. sell those yet. Uh, but we do have one for Good Mythical More, so click through. Brett's going to put stuff under there, and I'm going to guess what it is. Congratulations to the gift of the day. <laughs> Congratulations to the gift of the day. We're gonna look at you now. Congratulations to you. The, your gift of the day is weird eye potato, which is a tater with the eyes in it. Now, is this real? That's real, man. Wow. I'm gonna get one of those and enter it into the state fair. Could they take potatoes at the fair? You can enter it in, and the ones with the eyes would win. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.